May Astrodice reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Welcome, bull gang, welcome. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. Made it through that Mercury retrograde. Whoo, okay, thank God that's over. Only had a little, eh, little things here and there. A few videos I had to re-edit, right? Um, but otherwise, I did good. I hope you guys did good as well. Sometimes it's not as bad as we want to make it out to be, right? So always want to watch that subconscious as well. Are we making it worse than it is? Sometimes I think sometimes we might be. But don't be disappointed, though, when things still go awry, right, out of the blue, um, even when you're not thinking about it. So anyways, let's get in here and see what's going on with you, my friends. For those of you who are new, this is where we take astrology with Tara and make a small horoscope for it. the month. And welcome up. We have so many new Tauruses. Oh my gosh. So our pasture is getting bigger and bigger as we are speaking. Got a lot of new Tauruses last month. So let's go, guys. Let's go. Best matches coming out using only one of the 12 houses. Best house coming out. Look at that fifth house coming out. Whoa. How about that? Creativity with some Scorpion energy with some Venus love. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Okay, let's see what's going on here. We have the Venus coming out, sitting in your own energy over here, Taurians. The part of you that desires beauty, success, indulgence, and valuables. And that beautiful Venus goddess that you are, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. And going scorpion style over here the energy is intense masterful thoughtful and magnetically charming but also secretive and possessive Ooh. Uh oh using a little bit of that sister sign with this right that's our sister sign right there gonna use her let's use that scorpion energy and going straight into the fifth house of love romance fun and creating things we are proud of and by the way, my birthday is the 10th. So guys, go ahead and throw out your birthdays and tell me when your birthday was. Was Is it already happened in April? Are you that April bull or are you that May bull? So let's get in there and see, you know, when these birthdays are. Or are you a cross watcher, right? Or is it your, you know, your secondary sign, your ascendant? Okay, so let's see. Best message coming out. Got a lot of beauty, a little bit of secret charm going on, and uh, having some fun. It just feels very magnetic. That's, that's, you know, that's really what it feels like, magnetism. Got some, watch out for too much magnetism, though. It causes, what, static electricity, for sure. Going straight into the situation, situation taking place. In the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month, Give us the best reading, please. My bulls know what they're doing. That gift and presents. Look at that. It's presents and gifts. And it could even just be that, that there is somebody who's presenting themselves within the fifth house. I always want to say that, right? That can give that fairness, that generosity right? That overall prosperity and abundance. Feeling very generous though. I do feel though when you, you know the beginning of May you're going to have that generosity though going on because you have that Venus. Venus has that abundance. They have that valuables. They want to give. So it is definitely a time to give. So I do feel like there is a lot of balance going on over here within your life. Okay? But also being that queen of swords, making sure that you're making that direct communication when it comes to the six of pentacles when it comes to this abundance this prosperity um let's see right making justice making good judgment calls and you know he's holding this balance over here so no matter what it is it's almost like when i do give out this communication i'm going to make sure that it's fair that it's just that i'm doing it from the bottom of my heart that i'm doing whatever it is that i want to do and making sure that you know, it is what? The fifth house, creating things I'm proud of, right? But there's going to be a lot of, maybe some difficult decisions when it comes to this direct communication that you are giving over here, right? Because there's going to be a lot of clear-mindedness, but yet there's also, when we have clear-mindedness, sometimes it gives us more options, right? So whether it's in fun, romance, or love, 
right? So there is going to be some choices over here that are going to make you go, hmm, things that make you go, hmm, right? And you might even find yourself about a little bit of a stalemate, right? How am I going to say this? How am I going to present this? Um, how am I going to give this, right? So clarifying on the Six of Pentacles. But it's also kind of a secret. So it might even be that you're giving out, you're telling a secret. Maybe you only want to share so much of a secret. Maybe you have some kind of secret project going on or secret love around you also, right? But you're also being very masterfully thoughtful. And when you are thinking, like I said, being masterful about something and really thinking deep about something, sometimes that does weigh decisions though as well because we want to make sure that it's precise, right? Absolutely. Beautiful Taurus card coming out. I'm not going to just rush into this situation. I have something to say. I have something that I have to um, get off my mind, but I want to make sure that it comes out perfect. I want to make sure that if I'm doing some kind of investment in something I'm going to go have fun doing, I want to make sure that I'm doing it perfectly. If I'm creating something and writing something, I want to make sure that the words are said perfectly and that everything is being done Perfect. You have the urge to create right now, right? If you are telling someone that you want to have a reconciliation about something, that could be for some of you, you want to make sure that the words come out perfectly. I'm going to come to you with generosity, okay? And I'm, But I want to make sure that this is said perfectly. Come on. No matter what, this is going to make a completion and this is going to be a major accomplishment. Um, in whatever area of the fifth house it is for you. You will know what it is. You use your own discernment, your own good judgment, right? You know what it is. It'll be the first thing that pops into your head. You can say, oh my God, I know exactly what it is. It's that book I'm writing. It's that It's that place I want to go have fun. Oh my God, it's about this love that I have, but I'm not sure. Or it's this reconciliation that I want to do such and such about, right? So no matter what the situation is, it's going to be something that's also going to be very uh, productive. It might even be some kind of a new routine that you're taking on that you're very proud of. Maybe you're very proud of yourself. You really want to make sure that it's done to the point to where you're accomplishing something, right? If I'm going to the gym, I want to, I want to have this conversation. Maybe you're not even conversating with someone. Maybe it's yourself and you're giving yourself direct communication. Look, I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to set it from Wednesday and then I'm going to go Friday. You see what I mean? So it could just be that as well, making clear boundaries for yourself. Going straight to the mid month over here, we do have the fool. Oh my gosh, I love this. Watch out for the deception and somebody trying to thieve your energy away. Somebody being a little tricky. Someone trying to get away with something. Okay, when it comes to the fifth house. Okay, but you definitely are going to have this speedy, speedy action, swift change coming. Because you are starting a new be beginning and I do feel like you're taking kind of a quantum leap from the beginning of the month to the mid-month. When I say a quantum leap, that means that you're leaping so fast from one area to the next area right? That it's actually, you're going from a new chapter straight into a whole new book because you're saying, I accomplished this. Now I'm going to start something completely brand new because I've thought about this. So now I want to jump into this new area of my life. I'm going to change my life around. Maybe it was with blind faith. I gave everything I wanted to give in the very beginning of the month. And now I'm going to start this beautiful new beginning that has all these possibilities, but it's going to be full of spontaneous, uh, spontaneous combustion. And it could be, you know, whatever it is, like I said, take it what it is in the fifth house. Okay. On the, you know, but you also have to watch this person over here who's being a little tricky. Why are they being tricky? And they could even be messaging you a bunch of tricky situations. Tricky and sticky. I don't know why I want to say sticky because they might be trying to trap you in some kind of sticky situation. But whatever it is, you might even be manifesting things very, very quickly. And that's also another type of quantum leap, right? When things are manifesting so fast that it's catching you off guard. But it's, you know, for you, it's a good thing. But just be careful, this person in the middle, because there is someone over here who's trying to get away with something. They might be trying to hold you back from this new leap that you have. Clarify on the leap. Well... Okay, fine. Hold on a second. 
first because I didn't say it fast enough. I wasn't thinking of it fast enough. It wants to clarify on the sticky situation, which is saying you might have this person over here who knows that the grass isn't green, but they want to continue to try to, you know, keep the pasture as clean and as clean as possible. But yet they're cleaning up the mess, but all the wrong ways because they're being tricky about the situation. So it's almost like they're de-weeding over here, but you know they can de-weed all they want, but you know it's still some yellow dirt ass grass, okay? Because this is where the grass doesn't grow. So this is deception and you have two cards of deception. This is a card of deception and this is a card of deception. So somebody is definitely either living beyond their means, trying to induce fear. Like if you leave me for so-and-so, I'm going to take everything, I'm going to take everything from you or I'm going to let everybody know, you know, that you, you did me wrong. And it's like, did I really do you wrong though? No, I don't think you did. It's just that trying to induce fear and insecurity. And that's for some of you. I don't, not sure, you know, you're going to have to, you'll know what that is. You're probably dealing with it now, right? You're like, oh no, I know what that is. You know, it could even be a job and you're creating you know, and your publisher is over here saying, oh, well, if you do that, I'm going to let them know. Okay, but, okay, so go ahead and clarify on the fool. Because this new beginning is beautiful. Yeah, I'm walking away from something that no longer serves me. And this is going to give me the ending that I actually deserve. But this person wants to cause a lot of disrespect and conflict. There it is. So I'm walking away from them, giving myself this new, beautiful, new outlook of life. And I'm so happy. And it's, I'm not looking back. That's what it's saying. Trust I'm not looking back at that because I see the differences that we have within this situation, but they want to get nasty about it. They want to get nasty with you. Okay. Through messages, however, but no matter what, you're still swiftly changing and you're swiftly moving. So clarify on the swiftly moving. Giving yourself your own self-care. You might have had somebody that was very codependent upon you somehow or another. They may even be acting very unfaithful, jealous, or obsessive. But there's also a lot of insecurity when it comes to the situation. And we have two cards of insecurity. So they might even be trying to force their insecurities. The insecurities could be that you're leaving them and they don't know what to do, especially if they're codependent on you. Well, you can't leave me because who's going who's gonna to wash my clothes? You're going to wash your clothes. <laughs> You know what I mean? Or you can't leave me, you know, or maybe you have a new job, right? Or you're making money for the things that you love, or you have a new love and they're being actually, they're acting very obsessive about you. They're not going to love you the way I love you. So however it is, that's what's going on. Okay. It could be dance, uh, dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, another Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo transitioning and moving on. So it does say, no, because I'm leaving you. I'm leaving this situation to go find my happiness because I found what makes me happy. Remember, I already had an accomplishment over here. I already put down and set my law. I've already set my stuff into motion. So I know what it is. Even if you're, I mean, it could even be, you know, just leaving a gym and going to a different gym and they're like, but that gym will never treat you the way we did, you know, or you won't never find anything pricey you pay here. I don't know what it is. It could be anything. But definitely saying, you know what, I'm moving myself to calmer waters because I'm not going to put up with this behavior. For most of you, it's either some kind of job where you get to create things. Maybe it's a band, right? And you get gigs other places and you want to change up your band and you're going to a different band or, or you know, something like that. Um, or you take your art to a different gallery, something like this where you make money or definitely a romance. I would say the majority of you, it's a romance. Almost guaranteed. For the majority of you. Okay. And uh, that you know that. And this is because it's saying you were resisting to, you know, and it could have been some kind of secretive thing that you kept to yourself for a while before actually jumping out of the box over here. So the end of the month over here. You do have the three of swords. The Justice card, some of you are getting a divorce, and the Knight of Wands. Some of you are leaving and getting a divorce and going towards some knight in shining armor. 
um, the sexy, charming, great, beautiful person. But no matter what, the justice card doesn't have to be divorced. It could also be, you know what, I am, I balanced out. You have a lot of balancing, a lot of balancing over here. So you're, you're taking the fairness back within your life and pushing towards your justice and saying, I'm justifying myself. It's almost like, I'm sorry, it does hurt. It does hurt that, you know what, that this had to end up this way. It doesn't mean to us that there's not going to feel any pain that you're leaving behind from this person. This person obviously hurt you, so you're definitely still feeling sorted. There's still going to be a little bit of sorrow. You do have two cards of divorce here, though. So no matter what, it does hurt, right, you know, that... You're doing that or maybe because they're talking about how you betrayed them because we've got two cards of betray you betrayed me maybe they betrayed you and they were trying to get away with something but no matter what the situation is it hurts but you're moving on very passionately and inspiring yourself it's all about yourself this month this is about where my urge to create my urge to live life the way i want to live live in love the way i want to live in love um and moving fearlessly towards your your future, literally, the way you want to. Yeah, there could be some heartbreak, you know, as always is. But juggling, but saying, I'm done. I'm done being overloaded. I'm done carrying all this weight. I want to get past these three of swords. I'm going to pull these swords out, you know, of my, you know, out of my heart over here. Okay, and I'm going to get past this. You do have the star card coming out on the justice. So this is definitely a dream come true for you, but it's also a lot of hope and calm and and healing but it's more helpful over here because you do feel more balanced right you're feeling calmer about the situation as time goes on you're not going to live in the past anymore and you're not going to allow the past to just keep continuing to haunt you it says i'm leaving i'm maybe even leaving home i'm leaving there was a lack of playfulness there's a lack of this i'm going to move forward in my fifth house to have my victory this is the victory i need this is the victory i've been waiting for i'm going after my own inner calling the horn has blown and i'm taking this judgment call i'm taking this and i'm redeeming myself for my love my life my passions okay so standing up on your own two feet for what it is you want, literally. You've laid down the law over here in the beginning of the month and you said this is where everything is and this is what I want. I'm putting the Wheel of Fortune into my favor. No more ups and downs. I don't want that anymore. I want my Nine of Cups. My Nine of Cups will sooner or later turn into Ten of Cups and then it will turn back into the Ace of Cups. Right? That way you can just keep overflowing. Okay. So there is a lot of pro a lot of progress this month and a lot of goals that you're attaining at this time. Like I said, there could even be some kind of reconciliation. Maybe the reconciliation is just you telling them, I want to reconcile this situation with you, but it doesn't mean we're going to get back together. It just means I want to make peace of the situation. It's more like I'm kind of sorry that we can't grow together. I'm sorry we can't do this together. I've grown in other ways. So I've discovered new things and I'm making new decisions for my life. And I'm enjoying my life right now. I'm tired of having to stand my ground all the time for this situation. I'm sorry you don't see it my way. But you don't see it my way. So I have to go after what I'm passionate about. This is my life and the way I'm going to do it. And you know what? That's it. Boom. Taking back the power. I'm going to take the power back. Wow. i got that song in my head. <laughs> So, yeah, that's you getting strong over here. Okay, feeling the sensitivity. Spirit says because of the Venus, you'll have the sensitivity. You're not going to, you know, and that's where it feels like in the very beginning of the month. I love that saying you will have that sensitivity, though, because even though you're going to be very blunt about it being the queen of swords, which is going to be head over heart, you're still going to use that sensitivity no matter what because of Venus. And that's why it says it has to be said. It has to be done perfectly. So it makes tons of sense because you're not there to hurt people's feelings. You're not there to not take the sensitivity, you know, and you're all um, out of contents. But you also want to give the sensitivity back to yourself. So you're also being very sensitive to yourself. Like I said, taking the power back. That's exactly what this is. This is about taking the power back. I don't care if it's in love. I don't care what it is. 
In your fifth house, you're saying, I'm tired of this. I'm not dealing with that anymore. I'm taking back my power. So not only are you being Venus, the Empress, you're also saying, I'm going to be the emperor as well. I'm going to be a mighty, mighty powerhouse. You're going to nurture the situation through the Scorpio. So the Scorpio says that even though I'm silently walking and I might be keeping a little bit of it, a little secretive because I want to keep it to myself. You don't want a bunch of drama because they can cause their own drama. Thank you very much. Right. You're saying I'm nurturing this situation. I've given myself the rest, the peace, the stability that I need for myself in the mid month. The mid month is going to be about that. And that's why you're walking. Right. And the end of the month is talking about all the intentions. Your intentions, and uh, yeah, thank you, with the strength coming out. Your intentions, your new you, taking in those intentions of what it is you truly want, but using that ultimate strength. You are now saying, I am the mighty tiger over here. A tiger walks majestically. The tiger is majestic, but he's also sly, sleek, and he's also a little secretive. <laughs> so he is a little scorpion in his own way now, isn't he? And this, yeah, I love it. And this is because of what the overall card of the reading is because I finally found my self-love. I finally found what it is I truly need within my life and I'm not going to deal with anything else. I've learned the lessons within life and I know exactly where I want to stand and who I want to truly be, what I want to create, whatever it is that you're doing. That's a beautiful reading, my friends. And until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.